it. So I'm riding down the street, and I ain't even gonna lie. While I was, had y'all ever had a flashback? I, I don't know if it's just me. I don't know. If, I know I ain't the only manish, <laughs> freaky person in the world. Have y'all ever just been, just got, been like, dang, like you can hear, you can hear the sound, you can see the visual, you can, like, and it's just like, man, what's wrong with you? I had to snap out of it. Like, y'all done had this before? Have y'all ever had that happen to y'all? Because I had that happen to me. So look, so I'm riding down the street, I'm, I'm daydreaming, I done, I done, I'm like, dang. And then my phone go off. So when the phone go off, right, it's hard. It's a, I get a text message. She say, I need to talk to you about something. I thought she was finna, I thought she was finna say, you know what I'm saying, she wanted to try it again, right? So I got a little excited, you know what I'm saying, because I like the girl. I'm like, let me see what's up, you know what I'm saying? So look, check this out. So she was like, call me when you can. I just had a flag back about her. Man, listen to me. Man, I'm gonna tell y'all something. I was riding down the street one time, you know, I done had some, I done had some good, you know what I'm saying, some good cap and gal, you know what I'm saying, driving the automobile before. I ain't gonna lie, it's been a couple of times, you know what I'm saying, I done, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. You know what I'm saying, I done had a couple of little moments. But this one right here, this one right here, I'm talking about listen to me, gobble, gobble. I'm talking, I'm talking about out this world, like, wait a minute. <laughs> That's a, whoa, 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 hold on. No, hold on. It's one of them. Now, I don't know if all my guys are going to be honest, but it's a couple of them I had a moment like, oh, oh, no, no. Like, you got to stop it because, no, uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. You, you ain't going to keep doing that. I'm talking about chill, chill. Listen, I'm talking about a go gobble, gobble, goblin. I ain't lying to you. So, and I already knew this about them. I already knew this about her. You know what I'm saying? Listen to me. Ooh, listen. I already knew this about her. I'm not knowing she finna. I'm not knowing. Listen. I'm not knowing. Let me tell y'all something. It's different. It's a difference when, you know, gobble, gobble, go down <laughs> in the bedroom. When you get that guac, guac 650,000 in the bedroom, you know what I'm saying? She can get in a comfortable. <laughs> what's up, my girl? She can get in a comfortable position. To take care of the business that way. You know what I'm saying? She can get in a comfortable position. Now, it ain't now don't let all of them fool you. Don't let all these women fool you like they just got that that amazing guac guac 650,000. Some of y'all just don't got it. I'm sorry. Some of y'all just don't got it. And somebody ain't told you that it ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm telling you that I ran in a couple of gobble gobbles. I'm like, nah, you ain't even get you don't even get the G. You don't even you don't no, you're not a you are abba abba. You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't get the you ain't that. You are abba abba. Like, I done ran into a couple of them like, I don't know, have you been watching videos? Did anybody kind of prep you? Like what 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 was that? No, I don't even want that no more. I'm good. So, so look, look, look. I knew for I knew for a fact this girl was gobble gobble goblin. I'm talking about monster. I listen. Mind blowing type of stuff. I ain't lying to you. So we ran down the street one day, right? She decides she wanna, she wanna, you know, she wanna have Thanksgiving. She decides she wanna gobble gobble. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> my little man, I'm not opposed to it. Cause we get, we both going to jail for indecent exposure. Like this, this is we we most definitely don't supposed to be doing these acts behind the wheel. So I'm not gonna turn it. I'm not gonna turn it down. So as I'm driving, I'm not thinking this 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 certified, stamped and approved, soul snatching, gobble gobble, six hundred seventy five thousand. I'm talking about mouth mouth monster. Was gonna have the same capabilities sitting in that seat the same way she was in the bedroom. I'm not thinking that. I'm not thinking that. Nah, this ain't no story. I'm just trying to get to something. So. She performed even better. I said, wait a minute. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, oh, no, you not. <laughs> Listen, I said, oh, no. I said, it must have been something about the excitement of us driving down the street. Because this is better than the bedroom. How's you leading up? But then look, 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 look. Man, listen, it ain't nothing more sexier. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got them, them dresses all right. 
when the, when that dress started to rise up. Whoo, listen. The dress started to rise up because how she positioned, right? So when she hook, hook, and just reach back and hook. It's, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. Commercial break me, please. Let me speak. Let me tell y'all something real quick. Um, I got to say this right because I don't want TikTok to knock my laugh out, right? So, it's something, it's something sexy about being able to see, you know what I'm saying, the underwear, you know what I'm saying, the position, you know what I'm saying, the dead, you know what I'm saying, the go out. I said, Oh, I said, ooh, 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 <laughs> look, 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 them the exact, ooh, 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 hold on, hold on real quick. She like, what's wrong? I said, let me pull over. You know what I'm saying? Let me just pull, let me just pull over to the stove. Let me just pull over to the stove real quick. Just, just wait a minute. And, and then she, 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 she thought she could reciprocate my manners, right? So the thought, I guess me telling her, nah, wait, wait, wait a minute. I guess it made her, you know what I'm saying, want to attack me. <laughs> look, 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 you gotta play these mental games. Listen, I play mental games. I, I love them. I love them. But you know, it, it 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 takes it takes the moment there. So when I'm saying no, for some reason on her head that meant attack, 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 go, go in for the kill. She thought it was more to combat, finish him. That what she thought. I'm I'm literally like no, no, no. No, no, no. What kid of ours said? No, 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 no. <laughs> we finna wreck him here. We most definitely listen. We most definitely ain't get through the pearly gates if we go up there and Peter up there. Do you know why we here, woman? <laughs> listen to me. If we have a wreck and we go up there, do you not know why we is up here? We is up here, you little mouth monster, because of you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You love me, you love my mom. You got us both sent to hell. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I told you to stop. <laughs> so look, so look, so this girl get the cut up, right? So this girl get the cut up. I pull. Listen, here up, pull over. <laughs> let, let me pull. Let me pull this thing over. I pull over at the store, at the gas station. You know when you pull over at the gas station at, at nighttime. And the lights, the lights is on at nighttime. She don't even care. We got tent, but listen, she don't even care. That didn't stop her. That didn't stop her. I said, you got tapes out here. Yeah, you got tapes out here. You, you most definitely got some videos of you out here because for some reason, I think your performance was enhanced by the excitement of us driving down the street doing this already in the first place. Then we pull up at a public place and the lights is on. And for some reason, you just won't go on here and just act a fool. What's wrong with you? Get what I did. <laughs> look, look. They gonna see you tooted up. I'm laid back. <laughs> look, it's all with mouth monster. I'm talking about mouth monster. And if you on here, you, you know it's you. Yeah, you know it's you. You know it's you. Look, <laughs> look, look, take this out. So, I said I'll let to say this. After we quit messing around, right? You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a little, little mouth monster myself, you know? I'm, I'm a little, I'm, I'm a mouth monster myself, you know? I'm going to reciprocate the energy for sure. Matter of fact, I'm going to start it. You're going to have to feel like you got to match it, you know what I'm saying? Because you most definitely going to be like, yeah, I'm going to do all that. So, I get the text message, she says she wanna holler at me. So I call her. When I call her, she was like, what you been up to? I'm like, I ain't been doing nothing, I been cool. Her. Like, what's up with you, what you been up to? You know what I'm saying, I got my Jerry LaBert on, you know what I'm saying, I got the little deep one. I ain't doing nothing, what you been up to? She was like, I ain't doing nothing, I'm just calling her, I want, to, I want to ask you something. What's up, what's up, bro? I said, I, what's up, what you want? <laughs> what you wanted to ask me? What's up, what you got going on? I said, what you, what you, <laughs> I said, what you got going on? I said, what you want to ask me? She said, well, I know it's been two, three weeks now. When she say two, three weeks, you know what I'm saying? She is saying, wait, you know what I'm saying? Pig being dropped all the way in her chest. You know what I'm saying? I already know what you're talking about. You know, you ain't talking about two, three weeks when you talking about two, three weeks, you know what I'm saying? Since I done, you know, make sure I took care of the business. So she was like, I got a proposition. You ain't gonna do nothing. What's up? 
Hey, hey, listen to me, Misha. Now, I'm just talking about this is the first time as a man I got propositioned by a woman. This ain't never happened to me. This ain't never happened to me. I ain't never had this happen before. Ever, 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 ever. So she say, I got a proposition. I said, huh? I said, what's up? I'm not even prepared what she finna, for what she finna say. I said, what's up? She said, uh, how you feel about us getting together every weekend? We get a hotel room, we meet up, we do what we do, and we go our separate ways. Stand up on your toes. <laughs> look, look, look. She said, we get together every weekend, meet up at a hotel. But when she say get the hotel, look, look. When she say get the hotel, she was saying get the hotel for the weekend. We use the hotel. All right, I got you. We use the hotel for the weekend, right? But after we get, we don't stay all night. We don't do the. Excuse me. When she, when I, when she was saying it, I was like, "Did she just say that to me?" <laughs> I said, "I didn't know how to respond to that." Like, I didn't even really know how to take that. Like, she made me feel dirty. Like, I, I was like, now, had I been in the streets still? See, I ain't in the streets no more when I'm getting this type of pro proposition. So now that she, she was like, we just meet up on the weekends, do our thing, and then we just go on back. I was like, is this a settled question? This this like one of them, this like one of them situations where a woman say, if that's what you, if you just trying to get you something, just say that. As soon as I say, yeah, I'm just trying to give me It felt like a setup quest. I was like, that is it? Like, you literally just want to link up, get them, get bust down, because that's what you're going to do. Gobble, gobble me to death. You know, you get slurped in. You know, you get the works. We get up. No shower together, no nothing. You know, ta -ta, it's all weird. All right, hug, boom, and leave. She was like, yeah, I'm cool with it. I can handle it if you can handle it. <laughs> I said, I said, no, wait a minute. <laughs> Look, get what I told her. Yeah, we could try. <laughs> We can try that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Is that what you want to do? You you sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause you know, I ain't messing with nobody else. You know what I'm saying? I ain't moved on. She was like, but you ain't messing with nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Cause I ain't just, I ain't saying, but this this is this is what was crazy about it. She said, I ain't saying it's I'm cool with you sleeping with other people. I just ain't moved on to sleeping with nobody, but I ain't saying you just come sleep with me on the weekend and you still doing you. She said, you know what I'm saying? We just basically just sleeping together. I said, oh, oh okay, that go to stipulations right there. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I said, yeah. I said, yeah, we can do that. We can do that. Now, see, see, bless, hey, bless time five. The reason it was complicated was because the, me and this person was in a relationship. Like, we was, we was that. Like, you know what I'm saying? When I, when I, this is my first year, like, we was tight, tight. You know what I'm saying? So this proposition is weird. Now, it would have been different had it been somebody, you know what I'm saying, I would have just been punching down here and there, you know what I'm saying, putting pig all the way up in the chest, almost coming out of a, out of a mouth. You know what I'm saying? That would have been different. But this is a situation where this is somebody I had feeling for and that. She tried to tell me she just want to get punched down on the weekends. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, this ain't... I, I'm glad you said that right there, pretty brown skin. You 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 hold your comment right there. I'm I'm sure glad you said that, cause this ain't that, my girl. Hold on. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm sure glad you said that. <laughs> she wanted the pig and not me. You you stay right. See, I wasn't even gonna do no story time. I'm glad you said something like that. Hold on. <laughs> I'm I'm sure glad you said that. I'm sure glad you said that, cause I'm gonna tell you something. 
Ain't no woman ever been able to get some pig from me and that's all she wanted. I don't know what you think this is. Hey, what's that girl name? Bring on back around here real quick. <laughs> she got, nah, nah, nah. She got the wrong buddy. This ain't no two pump pig right here, my girl. It, it ain't been a woman out here that I'd never dealt with. Thought she was just gonna get some pig, and that's all she would. That's all she would go on. Never in my life, pretty brown skin. Listen, <laughs> never in my life. Listen, never in my life. It just a year and a half ago, I almost took a man's wife. Never in my life that she done told me you just pull up. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna go, do what we do and go on about out there. Never. Never, nah, you wasn't just saying. You wasn't just saying. You evaded me on her. You evaded me on her, woman. Dude, dude, how many times have you been on this live? I'm, I'm, listen to me. I'm a different, I'm a different kind of man in there. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Listen, I'm a different kind of man in there. For, for one, I'm a pleaser at heart. You know what I'm saying? And number two, I'm just, this is an experience. This is a whole experience out here. I'm most definitely, listen My goal is to make you say, I've been doing this for however long and I ain't never felt like that. That is my goal. I don't care who it is, who she done dealt with. I don't care if she was in a relationship with somebody for five years, 10 years, 15 years. When, when I get through, she need to say, I ain't never. What? How did you do that? How did I? What you talking about? You know what you did. What you do? I ain't doing nothing to you. You good? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> that, that's the goal. Mm -mm. I don't know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ain't nobody never did that. Woman, well, I mean, you been having, you been, you been. So you ain't never had no good doing. I thought I had. Yeah, 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 yeah. But look, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. <laughs> look, look, pull up on me. So look, check this out. Now I ain't offended. I'm just, I'm just kicking it. <laughs> I, I ain't offended. <laughs> Why I'm single? Who said that? <laughs> you or me? <laughs> but look, check, check this out. Check this out. So check this out. That's a good question. I'm gonna come back to. The, I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come back and revisit that one too. Because that, that I, I'm. Ooh, that's a good one. So look. So I, I agree. I agree to the to the to the uh, to the little, to the proposition. We pull up and do it one time. We, we don't make it a full weekend. We don't make it a full weekend. She hit me on Friday. Hey, I get off work at 530. You think you could be there around 7? Yeah. You gonna already get the room? Yeah. Get what it did. Get what she said. We were splitting the room money too. I did. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I agree. She had that pressure. I ain't even gonna lie to you. You know, she, she, she was doing her kegels with me. She was doing her kegels without me and with me. What is you doing? She doing kegels. She doing kegels while you know I'm, I'm way up here. It's 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 it's, it's giving grip. It's, it's giving grip. <laughs> look, look 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 look. She tell me, well, just send me your half for the money. Oh, you paying for half of the room too? Oh my lord! I'm finna cash up you. <laughs> I see her half of my money. She get to the room. She get to the room, you know what I'm saying? She tell me she already there. I'm like, oh, I'm about 15, 20 minutes away. She said, well, I'm finna drive down the street to Chroma Cookie. She said, they got them new cinnamon roll, whatever, cookies, man. I said, well, grab me one, too. Get what you told me. Uh-uh, we ain't doing all that. We just do it. You can't even buy me no cookies. I can cash up you for the cookies. Well, you cash at me. I'll get you some cookies. Ah, that was up. That was up. <laughs> you want to make sure. That, so this is all business. Nothing personal. This, this, this. This encounter is all being. You get what I'm saying to myself? I, I'm on damn finna drive. I'm finna do something dangerous to this woman. Man, I drive up here. Oh, I'm dead serious too. I get to the hotel room. <laughs> I get to the hotel. She tell me what room she in, right? So I'm texting. I'm telling her. You know what I'm saying? I don't even knock at the door. I'm telling her. I'm at the door. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Matter of fact, I, I should have did this whole story. <laughs> now I feel like this is a story. I'm, I'm really just talking. So yeah, she thought of me out. So look, look, look. I walk as I'm walking. I'm already feeling like I'm doing the walk of shame in the hotel. For some reason, I feel like I had to be quiet. Like somebody gonna come out and see me. I'm like what you doing? <laughs> Why is you? At? I ain't never been in a hotel this early. What you doing at the hotel this early? What you doing? I ain't doing nothing. <laughs> Who you here with? I felt like that. You know what I'm saying? So I text her, tell her I'm at the door. She hit the door. Pow. Soon she hit the door. 
Braun, <laughs> matching. Candace and Braun, matching off the top. So, she already got the clothes on. You know what I'm saying? Black lace junk. The black, black lace junk. The junk look brand new, too. Junk look brand new. It most definitely wasn't one of them when she done washed a couple of times. This junk right here, this junk right here still had that, 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 you know how black look before you wash it a couple of times? Like, it had that black on it. You know what I'm saying? So, soon as she hit it up, pow, she hit it all come to, whew, I said, she don't even greet me with a hug. She just walk out, listen to me. But when she walk out, don't listen to me. Ooh, the little, the little twerk walk on. I stand at the door. I just sit there and chill for a second. She turn around, I'm looking at her. She looking at me. We looking at each other. She said, "What you doing?" I said, "I just want to look." Boy, come on up in here. I'm about to. Literally, you bet not. I'm just playing with you. Know, I'm just playing. What's up, though? <laughs> what are you doing? Gonna give me a hug or something? Close the door real quick. <laughs> you know, listen, listen, listen. I don't even take my eye off when I lock the door. You gonna give me a hug or something? <laughs> lock the door. <laughs> look, look, look. When I walk in, I, what you got going on? You know, what you doing? Let the middle, let her feel the middle of my body and I already responded. Thick, listen to me. Long, wide, strong. Out of what? <laughs> listen to me. Still while he up there, stuck down. You know what I'm saying? So when they go, listen to me. To the woman who said she didn't want nothing but she didn't want nothing but some pee. Um, I, that was so. I ain't never been in no situation where that's all they wanted. They, they, they done said that. I've been propositioned three, four times. But listen, ain't no proposition to me talking about. I'm just going to keep on thinking that. Keep on thinking that. Keep on thinking that. So we go, y'all know I can't get into the details of this TikTok, right? But I takes my time. I takes my time. I ain't never been a two pump Peter. Or I takes my time. You know, <laughs> takes my time. Rooter to the tutor, you know. You know. <laughs> I got I got I got it's some it's some it's some sucking I gotta do here and there. You know what I'm saying? You want a lot of pressure or a, a, a not a lot of pressure, which you know, I don't know. You know, they all different. They all different. You know what I'm saying? You <laughs> tell me, tell me when there's enough pressure, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the, I'm gonna keep that same amount of pressure right there. I don't like being that. Listen, to me, I don't, I hate being the guy. Listen, to me, I don't like being the guy that, 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 that she say, and you can tell you done moved from the spot. Cause let me tell you something. I hate when you move from the spot on me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate when you, when you, when you change the stroke up. Yeah, I hate I hate when it's and then you just you decided to give your jaw a break. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What are you <laughs> listen, listen, listen? Don't do that right there. Don't do that. So when I'm on the spot, let me know I'm on the spot. Cause I'm gonna tell you something. I got great concentration. Great concentration. Because because the mind my mind is so managed and messed up, you know what I'm saying? I I don't care. Listen, listen, my jaw, I don't care nothing about it. I don't care because we get locked jaw too. Yeah, my my jaw. I don't care nothing about it. My my tongue. I don't. I don't care how. To, you, you, you get you a second win, y'all. Get you get you a second win, Tom. Cause, Cause right now, she wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on, Khalil. Get you a second win, cause as of right now, we is in the area, my guy. We is in the area. And I don't care nothing. <laughs> listen, listen. We is in the area. Don't you move. Don't you move. And then she not listen. And then you know that they kind of put a little pressure right there. It's just, it's, you got to read the body language too. The body language, the body language can let you know you in the right area as well. So you know what I'm saying? It, uh, 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 uh. Don't get to squirming it. No, 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 no. Don't get to squirming and trying to run. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got something to add to the, to the situation. I got something to add to the situation. What was it? <laughs> I got something to add to the situation. What are you doing? You know what I'm saying? By the time that right there, it's over with. Listen, it's over. You done, you done told me you don't want to give me no crumble cookie. You didn't want to give me no cr crumble cookie? Huh? Cinnamon swirl? <laughs> oh, okay. Look, look, look. As soon as, soon as the water park turned into, listen to him, as soon as the water park pop out, when the water park pop out, she, he, I ain't even gonna give y'all all my dick. Y'all really need to pay me for this type of information. You know what I'm saying? Cause by the time that go off, you don't got you don't waste no time. 
you come you come right in with the right amount of pressure. I'm talking about pig, and then pig, the extension of pig, thick, long, listen to me, wag, strong, still. I don't even take that much time. Soon that, out. It's gonna do the same thing. Listen, it's just. What, what, what? You ain't wanna give me no cooking? You ain't wanna give me no cooking? I was up. <laughs> you want? You wanna just? You want? You wanna give me no cooking? Okay. Okay. <laughs> look, 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 look. Okay. Okay. Then I'm talking and everything. So by the time I come up, you know what I'm saying? It's a. It's just. A, it's you got. It's yeah. Gentle aggression. Gentle, gentle aggression is is, is the most definitely the move. You can't you can't be overpowered in a situation, you know what I'm saying, where they feel like you 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 roughhousing, but you're not roughhousing. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's a kind of it's a kind of rough house you could do where it's just like it it, it could be a turn off, but it can most definitely be a rough house to where it's like you you know you just into it, you just into it, so it's the right amount of aggression. You know what I'm saying? So look, 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 look. And it's, I don't know, I, don't, I can't speak for everybody, you know what I'm saying, because every woman different, but, you know what I'm saying, if, you, if you're doing the right amount of talking, you, and right there between, you know what I'm saying, you kind of tap the cheek at the same, you know, not the cheek, I mean the, 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 the thigh, then rub it, listen to me, listen to me, because I, I knew, I knew the body, I knew the body at that point, I knew the body, you know what I'm saying, so you don't, you don't want to give me no crumble cookie, okay, okay, that was up, yeah. That was up. That was up. Hey, commercial break me real quick. Hey, if you ain't already follow me, do me a favor, hit that follow button. If you ain't already follow me, hit the follow button. I need everybody to double tap the screen. <laughs> double tap the screen. And if you ain't already follow me, hit the follow button. Mm -mm, mm -mm. If you ain't already follow me, hit the follow button. Double tap the screen. What's in that wall? Water. Ain't nothing in there. What you mean? What's in that water? What? What I got the life of? <laughs> what? Ah, uh, nah, nah, nah. I don't keep the hat on during the encounter. Unless that's what you into. <laughs> Unless it's what you into. What you, what you into? I don't I don't know. <laughs> Tell me what you into. Is that why you asking? <laughs> hey, but look, look, look. Y'all think I'm playing too? This is a real. This is a real situation. This is a real. This is this this happened for real. So I think go down right. I think go down because I know about it. She know, man. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna make it like you know what I'm saying. I just worked her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, she worked the kid too. She worked the kid too. Who said I was? She worked the kid too, right? So after it's over, she. You want one of these cookies? You know I want one of them cookies. Quit playing with me. <laughs> Quit playing with me. I said, what you finna do? Now I'm finna go to the house, probably cook something. It's just right down the street. You want a plate? You want a plate? I couldn't even get a cookie earlier. <laughs> you finna like cook that stuff? Do I want a plate? You good? I said, man, you. <laughs> what? So I put my clothes on right. We walking out of the hotel. I remember like I had some I, I had just got them wheat tea or two, you know what I'm saying? So we walking out of the hotel. I feel a little funny. Cause the man at the register, let me tell you something. The man at the counter, I didn't like. He knew we came here separately. I don't know if they be watching the parking lot, but that you have you ever been thinking somebody knowing what you doing and they really don't go to my website, jtb3.org. Have you ever been thinking somebody knowing what you're doing and what you got going on the whole time? They really don't know what you got going on. It's just in your head. Excuse me. So I'm thinking to myself, man, he seen her come in here get the room. Then I got here second. He probably seen us pull up in separate cars. What's up? <laughs> What's up, Ronnie? He probably seen us in separate cars. And now we leaving and we finna get in separate cars and go our separate way. He probably think we a married couple in here having an affair. Cause that's sure what it looked like. That's exactly what it looked like. You think we you think we came in here, did what we did, going our separate ways. We done came here, we took our rings off when we walked in, had an affair, and we left all up out of here. Cause that's sure what it looked like. So <laughs> we get a guy, we get a guy pulled out. I'm headed back to Springfield. 
she going back to the barrel, just in case you don't hear. <laughs> she going back to Murphy Barrel, right? She going to text me and say, I don't know how often I'm going to be able to do that. So what are you talking about? What you, <laughs> what you mean? I don't know how often I'm going to be able to do that. You the one proposition this. You the one proposition this. Now you talking about you don't know if you're going to be able to do that. Because you don't got in your feelings again. You thought you were going to come down here. You thought you were going to be able to pull up three days out the week. Get get some good dude and, and, and just go back to the house. No, no. That ain't going to work with me. Do what? Because now you <laughs> want to admit it or not. You, you worried about what's going on. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something I learned. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something I learned when I when I caught somebody cheating on me before. Let me tell y'all something I learned. Now, it's a big difference in when you catch somebody cheating or you think you know somebody cheating and you don't catch them versus when you catch them. It's a, it's a, it's a huge difference when you catch the person. So, when you catch the person, when you catch the person, you then get to visualize. You know the stuff she do to you. So as a man, now I don't. If a man don't want to admit this, he lying. He he, he lying. When you find out that girl cheating, you thinking she done put her mouth on somebody the same way she put her mouth on you. You thinking she enrolled it that way. And let me tell you something. A sneaky link. She might turn up in a way she ain't turned up before. <laughs> so, so listen, she might put a little extra spice on that thing when she get up there on that sneaky link. You know, cause cause you probably gonna let it die down. You probably gonna let it die down a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You probably gonna let it die down a little bit. She link up with that sneaky link and she like it. Oh, she might turn up, turn up. Listen, to me. she might cut up, she might get loose. <laughs> so so when you get to thinking, when you get to thinking about that. Oh, it's, oh, it, oh, it crush you. Oh, it, 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 it do something to your self-esteem and ego. It do something to you. It do something to you. Cause when I, I caught it red-handed. When I caught it, listen, for the people who ain't heard it before, I caught it red-handed in the messages. I didn't see no video, but it was detailed messages from the guy about the, the back shots, the, the 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 cheeks jiggling, the kissing, the, 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 the mouthpiece. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't know what I was thinking to sit there and read that. I don't even know how I survived it. I was sitting, I was like. Should I keep scrolling? Oh my God. <laughs> Listen, I had to grab my chest. <laughs> ooh. 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 Let me, let me put that up. <laughs> don't do it. Ooh. We. Oh yeah, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> I had to. I had to do it though. I had to do it. But look, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> I don't know if women do the same thing. Now, now it's disrespect off the top. It's disrespect. You know what I'm saying? It, 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 it's embarrassing. You know what I'm saying? It's a, it's a lot of different things. But when you deal with somebody, deal with somebody, and you imagine that person in the same. And doing something as intimate with somebody else, listen to me. Oh, that's the worst feeling in the world. Second to going through a breakup on your job. <laughs> listen, that's second to that's second to going through a breakup on your job, bro. Who it hurt? Yeah, I'm a sad. <laughs> uh, then they tried to come back about it, about two years ago. <laughs> they tried. They they tried. You know. They, they they spun the block trying to come back back. Not about a year and a half ago. Yeah, they spun the block trying to come back, come back. No. No. You know, she saw a couple videos, you know, jumped on my live, see me telling a couple of stories, you know, got the reminiscence, thought they were just going to call me out the blue. Two o'clock in the morning. Hey, what's up with these women? Hey, listen, <laughs> listen. When a woman, let me, get, let me ask the women opinion real quick. If it's a guy you used to mess with, right? Hold on, is that you? Boy, you faithful though. I thought that was up. So let me ask y'all something. When you deal with a woman, did you used to, you used to deal with somebody, right? And 
she hit you at two in the morning. That that's slick disrespect because you don't even know if I'm with somebody. You don't know if I'm with somebody. You if I'm with somebody, that's a most definitely who called you at two in the morning, right? That's what that is. You you pull the move. Now ain't nothing. Hold on, is it my homie right there? Ain't nothing toxic about me. Ain't nothing toxic about me. Why? I don't say I'm toxic. Ain't nothing toxic about me. This is healthy. What? Yeah, they know what they doing, man. You you call me? You 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 finna make somebody? Who is they calling you at two in the morning? I ain't talked to you in two years. I ain't talked to you since the hotel room. Who? It depends on who it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer that thing. My, uh, I wasn't even, listen, I wasn't even trying to get on here and cut up like that, man. Y'all gonna get me in some trouble, man. I was on here just chilling. I was just trying to get on here and, 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 and kick it with y'all, man. I better answer you. Oh, you aggressive. Hold on real quick. Let me look at your profile picture. Hold on, hold on real quick. Don't talk to me like that on my lab. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Let me see who it is like that. Blessed and highly favored. Hey, hey. What? <laughs> What's up with you? <laughs> Stand down now. What you got going on? I like a lot of things. <laughs> do, do you know what you like? <laughs> that be people proud. They be knowing what they like. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Hold on, there's a lot of new folks on here. Hey, where y'all from on here, man? What I like. What you into, Ashley? <laughs> Let me look. Hold on. <laughs> Let me see something real quick. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hey, what's up, my girl? I ain't even see you was on here. Who is this right here? Hold on. Hey, where is y'all? Let me see. Let me see. Let me look at these profile pictures on here. I'm going to tell you something. Let me see something. Because y'all going to get me in trouble on live. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, uh, Ashley, you down here? You down here in Texas too, aren't you? <laughs> you down here in Texas, aren't you? <laughs> you out here in Texas already? Yeah, me too. Hey, that little TikTok band just right here. Stop it. It's over with. I'm in Dallas. Where you at? Man, y'all ain't gonna get me in. Y'all. <laughs> I didn't wanna rock. Hey, quit doing all that. What's up, man? Hey, quit doing it. Hey, I'm, it's some of these TikTok dances. It's over with, bro. It's, it's, it's over with, man. I'm finna start doing it. And I'm, man, listen. I'm not finna keep watching this stuff, man. Come on with something different, man. When they when they rocking it, when they doing the little, the little hip hop thing. Nah, I'm from Tennessee. I just moved to Dallas a year and a half ago. Show you what? I'm not a I'm not a TikTok dancer. I'm not a TikTok dancer. Hey, bro, what, what, what? Hey, you disrespectful, man. Yeah, man. All these folks on here twerking, man. Show me around where. What you trying to show me? What you what you what you what you trying to show me? What you what you trying to show me? Be careful now. What? Last woman tried to show me around, man. She ended up in a straight jacket taking psychotropic meds. You hear me? Had, they had to call her granny to get her to pray for her. They had the granny ask her what happened to her. She said, she was messing with that TikToker. Then the granny said, she was messing with that TikToker. They said, which one? That boy to be on there saying, okay, so boom. She was messing with that TikToker. Lost her darn mind. <laughs> she lost her mind. She Take psychotropic meds. Take the psychotropics. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> he didn't ask the phone for her while she was at work. He didn't ask the phone for her. <laughs> he gave her some pee. He gave her some of that thick, long, what he be saying? Hey, Charlene, what that boy be saying? Thick, long, why? Yeah, that's what he be saying. Strong. Gave, gave her some of that pig. Gave her some of that pig. She, he didn't ask the phone for her while she was at work. She left her job. She got fired first. She got fired from a job, Charlene. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that, I don't know what that TikToker did to her. That TikToker, boy, he's something dangerous. He's something special. She left her job, went to his house, went to the door. Boy didn't even have nobody in there. Boy was in the house sleep. He, he opened the door up. She went up and tried to fight him. Went try to fight him. Neighbors called the police. Neighbors called the police. Yep. They told her to take some therapy. They told you no, know, she, she just lost it. Lost it, yeah. Lost it. <laughs> that pig. <laughs> Boy, that pig. I ain't had nobody do that to me since the 60s. Charlene. <laughs> I ain't had nobody do that to me since the 60s. When my granddaughter, he was in, when my granddaughter, he was into my kind, I give him some of them. <laughs> you do what, Granny? Granny, I knocked the teeth out. What's wrong with you? Granny, <laughs> quit playing with me. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock them teeth out. Huh? <laughs> Don't play with me, Granny. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you the one passed that kid, you the one passed that cat down. You hear me? You passed that cat down. Huh? I don't know, girl. <laughs> Granny. <laughs> Granny might got that cotton coochie. Yeah, I didn't know it was a term, you know what I'm saying, until a couple weeks ago. I ain't, even, I ain't even know. Cotton coochie is a thing. Yeah, how many of y'all on here got cotton coochie? Be honest. Be, be honest now. <laughs> now, I wouldn't knock down Gigi. I wouldn't knock down Gigi, you know. She probably a little pig watcher. That's that's it, you know. If if I was standing up and I'm going to be honest with you now, if Granny, look, if granny a little pig watching, you know, I stand in. A, I stand right there. You know what I'm saying? If she if she keep looking at the middle of my body, I let her. I, t I let her look. You know, I wouldn't give none though. I wouldn't give none. I ain't gonna act like I don't see her looking. You know, I might stretch for. Her. You know, she had. I might. What are you doing, GG? <clears throat> what are you doing? You been watching Young and Rich? <laughs> I, I might pig flash her a little bit. You know, that's about it. Go to my website, jtv3.org. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Y'all funny, man. I know some granny that's a big watcher now. Don't get, don't get this twisted, man. I know. <laughs> hey, when I slept with that police officer, hey, look, when I was on Max and I slept with that correction officer, that's exactly what I hit her with that long stretch. At Cotton Coochie, I'm finna tell you about it. Now listen, when they correction, when she knocked on the door, all right, Baker, 41, 41, 46. I heard the voice, get what? And I had them long johns on too, listen. I had them long johns on. I done got, listen to me, that morning wood was sticking up. Get what I said, ooh. Listen, soon as I got up out of the bed, what's up, CEO? She said, come on, well, you got to go to court. Get what I hit her with. I hit her with the long stretch. I said, Ugh. I got one eye open. I'm looking. <laughs> I'm talk, look, I'm talking about that print. That print sitting up like it. <laughs> What's up, CO? What are you doing? Whew. She said, boy, come on. I said, what's up? Boy, get the, get the baby. I said, what's going on? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ronnie, I ain't told that story in probably about eight months. I ain't told none of my stories in a long time, man. Yeah, yeah, I, I'm going to definitely, I ended up getting, I ended up smashing one too that same night. <laughs> I ended up putting that big in my neck that same night. Listen. That stretch going to get you there, man. I ain't going to lie to you, man. That stretch, man. Hey, how many new people I got on here, man? I I, I feel, I feel, I might tell it. How many new people I got on here? What you mean? You been waiting on your book since last year. You don't get on here to who is this? 
Man, I ain't even finna start with you. I ain't even finna start with you. You, you, you know. <laughs> DM me when you get off. I guarantee you got a message in your DM from last year too. You didn't respond to. How much you want bet? You want bet about that? Cause I'm, I, I'm screenshot shouting. How much you want bet? You got a, you got a message in your DM right now from last year. You didn't, you didn't respond to. Slim. <laughs> Since you on her being messy. <laughs> Chicken wine. Why is it? Hold on, man. Hold on. Because. Now, now, I want this back. Hold on. I just seen a name on here that was very interesting. Let me see what's going on. Chicken wine. What? Oh, hey, chicken wine. Hey, chicken wine. Hold on. Sweet pea. Yeah, yeah. I'm screenshot shouting. <laughs> Listen. Screenshots done saved my life. Screenshots done got me out of some jams. On, I promise you. Yeah, yeah. Screenshots to get you out of a jail. I ain't gonna lie to you. And if it, and if the message coming on Snapchat to have two phones, yeah. Screenshots done got me out of a lot of jams. Yeah, cause these people be out here lying. The book about my life. I did ten years in prison. In and out trouble pretty much my whole life. I've been home five and a half years. And that ain't. Yeah, yeah, man, listen, hey, hey, Ronnie, listen, I don't have so many people, my homeboy, yeah, yeah, <laughs> look, look, my homeboy girlfriend, you know, I'm punching her down, right? <laughs> hey, listen, Ronnie, Ronnie, <laughs> I don't know why I'm in a good mood right now, so, <laughs> my homeboy, now, I ain't no comedian, <laughs> at, about, at all. So my homeboy girlfriend, you know what I'm saying? You know, we 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 were tossing her back and forth or whatnot. He he was in love with her. You know, he 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 was in he was in love with her. And now I was screenshot from the penitentiary, Ronnie. You know, I had a phone. I I developed screenshot in, in the penitentiary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was doing that before I came home. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I, yeah, I got screenshots I sent home from the penitentiary. You know, you I had a girlfriend in the penitentiary, you know, and it's a, a couple of people tried me one time. You know, and she hit me up talking about, oh, such and such said, you call her, talking about you, you want her to come see you. I didn't say that. She hit me up on Messenger and asked me, could she come to see me? Well, she said, you been asking her. I got the screenshot right here. Well, send it to me. You ain't talking about nothing. Hold on. I screen. I was screenshotting in the penitentiary. These folks is in here, out here playing games in the real world, man. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> <laughs> these folks is out here playing games in the real world. I'm not finna be playing these folks. I'm not finna be playing with these folks. When I was punching down my homeboy, you, you, that video recording, that voice recording I had, you know why I did that? I ain't just a screenshot, y'all. I'm gonna record you talking too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been several situations where, yeah, I did, I did, I did it two, three weeks ago. Yeah, I did. I had to. <laughs> Listen, Ron, I did it two, three weeks ago. I went somewhere and some told me. Cause it was two, three homegirls was in there. Some told me did, did, did they ain't somebody not telling the truth about something. Somebody not telling the truth. So get what I hit them with. This is my favorite thing to do. Hey, where the bathroom at? Oh, it's back there. It's back there. Such, such. Get what I'm gonna do. Before I go to the bathroom, I'm gonna turn my record on. Yeah, I'm gonna turn the record on and leave the phone right there. Go on and whisper whatever it was, whatever the agenda is. Go ahead and whisper it while I'm back here in the bathroom. Get what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna take my time. You ain't got to come. Listen, you talking about you would never call me. Just be honest. Hold on. See, that's the problem. Hold on now. See, I'm glad you said that. That ain't fair right there. Oh, what's your name? Bling Devil. I bling Devil. As a woman, this is what I'm saying. Don't put me in no situation where you're not being honest. You know what I'm saying? If you plotting, I'm going I gotta find out somehow. I gotta find out somehow. You know how many times I don't been in somebody's house and they had a whole different agenda than what than what was said, and, and then they try to and then look 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 then they try, <laughs> then then they try to find out, then they try to act some type of way because you you don't find out about it. No, no, this, this, it, it go both ways. You try to run game on me. I found out what the game was. How you mad at me? I was two steps ahead. Of, hey, what a bad room is. I was back up going. I. I'm going to leave my phones right there. I'm going to leave both of them right there. 
But the one on top, the one on the bottom, oh, it's recording. Oh, it's on record. Yeah, it's on record. Get what? I'm going to stay in the bathroom two minutes. Yeah, do all the talking you need to. I'm in the mirror like it. I know they in the, I already know what they doing. Oh, I'm in the bathroom like it. Then I'm going to flush the toilet. Turn the water on. <laughs> hey, you got some paper towels? Yeah, yeah, they're in the kitchen. Oh, okay, okay. Just use the towel in there. Now, I don't like putting my hands on people's towels. I'm going to give the whole towel this in the bathroom. Listen, listen. Then when I come out of the bathroom, get what I'm going to do? Hey, I got to run to the car real quick. <laughs> I'm going to go to the car. Girl, yeah, I was watching him on TikTok. He be talking about this, 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 that. I'm about to see what that mouth do. From who? 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 Wait a minute. Girl, yeah, I've been already. He be talking about some pig watching. I, I, I ain't going to lie. I've I been pig while I've been watching his YouTube video. Look like he don't even be having no draws or... Girl, I thought the same thing when he walked in here with them sweats on. Girl, you lucky you got them before I did. No, they didn't. Oh, no, what a minute. Mm-hmm. Then he keep licking his lips and stuff on there. Girl, I seen one of them videos where he was growling and everything. I wonder if he do that when he doing it. I always talking about he got some good do it. I'm gonna put I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna make sure pig on me when I walk back in now. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna make sure pig on me when I walk back in now. When I walk back in there, listen to me. He, what y'all doing? Y'all got something to drink? Y'all got some juice or something in here? What y'all drink? What y'all got? Y'all got some orange juice in here, y'all some water or something. Then I'm standing up in front of all three of them. Listen, as they sit down on the couch, I'm gonna walk in, I'm gonna walk in and have a have a man on me, and I'm gonna stand in the middle of, hey, you got some, you got something to drink? You got some juice or something? You got some cran? You got some? You got that cran grape in there? Then everything they said, I'm gonna do it right in front of them. What's up? Then they gonna bust out laughing. <laughs> they gonna think it's an inside joke. No, jokes on you. Jokes on you. It's not an inside joke. They gonna bust out laughing, girl. <laughs> Whole time, I already know it's hell, yo. Yo. <laughs> Listen, man. These folks is pet out here. I'm telling you, man. I heard, I got, I told you, I got one girl recording. I still got it. I got one girl recording. I go to the bathroom. She tell her own girl she was in love with me. You believe in love at first sight? I'm in the bathroom like this. After I come out and get the phone when I go. Girl, you believe it? You believe in love at first sight? I don't know about that. Girl, first time I seen him, he got a girl, I ain't gonna lie, I was in love. With who? Oh my <laughs> I done seen it. Man, listen. I done heard some things, man. Mm-hmm. How many I'm taking down right now? I got pig put up. Pig in a blanket. <laughs> I ain't even been doing nothing at all. I got coconut oil right next to the bed. You don't believe me? Oh, I ain't doing nothing. I ain't doing nothing. You hear me? I can't eat. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> it said arms reach. You see that? Yeah, I ain't eat. I just, you know, it said arms reach. We ain't eat. <laughs> Pig in a blanket right now. It's all weird. You can't be getting that pig like that. You get in trouble. You get in trouble, man. I'm on sabbatical. Yeah, with the lid off. What, you a surprise? Man, I ain't playing no games, man. <laughs> Y'all crazy, man. Pig get you in trouble out here, man. Oh, they going to jail out here in Addison. Yeah, keep on doing that. 
Cook, you going to jail out here. But look, 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 though. Yeah, cop coochie a real thing out here, man. These folks, these women out here got cop coochie, man. Do I like trouble? It's got to be good trouble. You believe in good trouble? Let me tell y'all something. I was talking to my homegirl. Look, now nah, they ain't racing. They going to jail out here. You don't race out here. You don't race out here. You 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 go out there to Oak Cliff. You go out there to Oak Cliff and race. <laughs> but look, cotton coochie. Cotton coochie. Dry. Yeah, dry. Look, let me tell y'all something. I'm talking to my homegirl. I'm going to get back to that real, real quick. So, I'm talking to my homegirl the other day. And uh, she just recently went through situation, right? So, she, she been going through a little healing process. What you say, Ronnie? Let me see. What my homie say? <laughs> look, <laughs> look, what's up? What's up, Dan? So, my own girl just went through a little situation or whatnot, right? So, she going through a healing process. She been going through a healing process for about three, four months. I don't know if for y'all, you know, depending on how long the relationship was and how deep it was, how was you already gone mentally before you actually left physically? I don't know. You know, everything is situation based. But I'm going to tell you something. After about three, four months, I'm outside. <laughs> I'm outside. I'm still healing at the same time, but I'm outside. So, she was telling me, yeah, yeah, the cotton coochie. She appreciate that. She was telling me she think it's going to be a year before she started dating. Let me talk to the women real quick. I said, I said a year? I said, oh, I'm going to meet personally. I said, I'm going to be married in the, in the next year. I'm gonna definitely, I'm gonna definitely not uh, in no relationship or single. I'm gonna be in a marriage within the next year. She said, "You think so?" I said, "I know so." I said, "Uh, I said, uh, it's not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not sitting around that long." Now I'm just talking about something right now. Listen to what I'm gonna tell you though. She was like, "I don't think. I don't think I'm gonna be ready to move on or get with something." I said, "No, nah, that." I said, "In my opinion, that ain't what it is. I, I don't think you being honest with yourself." She said, "What you mean?" I said, uh, I think you have a fear of moving on because you know once he see you moved on, you you worried about you still worried about his feelings. I said a lot of women don't move on or mess around with nobody else because they know that man. <laughs> Listen, you still worried about disappointing that man, and because you a part of you probably still ain't. You still kind of attached to it. You talking like you done moved on, acting like you done moved on. But deep down inside, you know the minute he actually see you with somebody else or know you sleeping with somebody else, you know nine times ten, then it, the, rea the real reality of it's over is over. So I told him, I said, I said, I said, really, that's what it is. I said, have you ever seen you with another man? She was like, no. I said, uh, have you ever caught you cheating? Have you ever cheated? She said, no. Nah. I said, well, that explain when you keep on saying stuff like, he just think we can pick up where we left off and he could do this and do that like ain't nothing never happened. I said, why wouldn't he? I said, because every time you done left what you done did, eventually you went back. It might be two months, might be three months, might be a year. Every time you went back. I said, not only did you go back, I said, you ain't never post nobody. I said, have you ever seen you post another dude? Whether even if it was just on a date, if y'all was bowling, you know what I'm saying, top golf, out to eat, have you ever just posted a dude? And it could have been your friend. Nah, I ain't never did nothing like it. I, I said, you know why? You know why you ain't done it? Because you you don't want to disappoint him. You don't want to upset him. You you scared of that call? Oh, who you were with? Oh, don't call me. I seen you with such and such. Call little buddy. That, that that's what you worried about. So you don't want to, yeah, that's exactly what it is. But see, most, most women move like that though. Most, most women do that. It take a, it take a, man, listen, especially a good, a good woman, good, decent woman, you know what I'm saying, respect herself. It's going to take a while 
before she get before she actually bust that move move. When she busted though, are oh, you in trouble? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. You you in trouble. But you don't you won't expose. You won't expose. You don't move on. Dudes, dudes, dudes the same way though. But see, dudes, when we do it, it's it's pettiness. It's 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 pettiness. It's it's being spiteful. It's being messy. You know what I'm saying? He'll post he out and having fun or whatever the case may be. But deep down, you know what I'm saying? He still like he still ain't let go. Dudes do it reverse. They think and post something gonna make her mad and tip and, and make her go harder. Or is he trying to trigger an emotion? You know what I'm saying? You trying to trigger an emotion to see if she still occur. But I'm gonna tell you, cause that woman, that woman get quiet and you run out. Of, and when that woman get quiet with you, and you run out of stuff to do to try to see how, if she gonna respond, are you gonna go to the lowest or the low? <laughs> Listen, you gonna go to the lowest or the low? You know what I'm saying? You alive, post a woman talking about you finally happy, and the whole time you already know you just waiting on that message. Oh, I hope you happy with such and such. You ready to text back. You ready to text back. That's how that be. I'm telling you, man. But women, I told, oh yeah, this is why I would tell my homegirl, though. I said, man, look. I said, me. I'm going to be honest with you. I said, I can continue to heal. Now, with me, I can continue my healing with somebody. It's just about being open. If I'm being open in the process of where I'm at, I can be over the person. But if I'm just being open about my healing process and still learning, you know what I'm saying, to love myself and open, being open and love somebody else, it's cool if that person willing to grow with you. I said, but ain't no way. I said, I'm not going to tell myself and a year from now or six months from now, I'm still healing from something. And if I run into the right situation tomorrow, listen to what I'm going to tell you. If I ran into the right woman tomorrow, listen to what I'm going to tell you. Because I, I mean what I'm saying. If I ran into the right woman tomorrow, <laughs> I'm going to buzz the move. I don't care what I'm dealing with, what I'm going through, because for one, I'm going to be 35 December the 2nd. You know what I mean? People in my family in their late, early 40s, early 50s, late, I'm talking about old, old. I'm talking about they, well, I ain't gonna say old, but they, they getting up in the age and they are still single. Ain't been married. Don't, ain't even been close to getting married. I'm not finna do that. I'm not finna do that. The right opportunity come, man, listen. I know what, everybody know what they need to work on, homie. Is this the discipline that you have to apply to get to that point? If I run into the opportunity for some real, I'm not turning that down. Do you know? Listen, I'm not turning that down to be happy. You think I'm gonna turn down my happiness for somebody that that I wasn't even happy with? Man, you have lost your mind. Do what? You get an opportunity to be happy. You sitting around. You we get opportunities to be happy. We turn around and go, we turn around and get with the person that, done, that, done, that, that about ruins your life. That don't even make sense. That don't even make sense. What's up, Samik? You, you, man, I'm not doing that. For what? I'm not scared. I'm going to tell you something, man. I told my sister this the other night. I said, I don't, I've been home for five years. What's up? Five and a half. Going on six. I'll be home six years in May. And this is the honest one. This, this is the truth I've been thinking. I haven't, I don't feel like I've ran in a, into a real opportunity where I was, where it could have been like the real, real, real thing. It was either I was still getting myself together or I was interested in somebody who probably didn't know how to love me correctly. Real time. Yeah, it's been it's been it's it's been, it's been too it's been too real. Now nah, for real. For real. In the beginning when I first came home, is it because you know I knew I wasn't in no place mentally. I wasn't in no place spiritually I probably was. I wasn't in no place financially to be providing for no woman. I wasn't in no place to be uh trying to protect no woman. 
because I was too busy, you know what I'm saying, trying to do what I was trying to do. I wouldn't have gave my undivided attention because I wasn't ready. Uh, uh, I wasn't ready to. And uh, Or I ended up in situations where it just wasn't, it just wasn't solid. And, it, and then if it wasn't solid, you know what I'm saying, it's not, it's not, my heart just ain't going to embrace that. You know what I'm saying? But at this at this point right now, it's just like, man, listen, I ain't, I ain't going to let that stop me, though. It, it's hurtful. And don't get me wrong. Because, man, you know what I mean? Listen, I study social media, homie. That's what I do. You know what I mean? People, beautiful women. I see. I'm talking about single. Now, I ain't, oh, oh. Hey, what you mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? People on here, I see talking about they single. They and then then they get into either they healing or everybody be playing. Now, if all of us are saying the same thing, what's what's going on out here? Now, real talk, what's going on if all of us either healing or we deal with somebody that just they, they full of mess? It's one of the two. I ain't finna deal with that, man. And that's hard. Don't get me wrong, it's 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 hard to find. It's 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 hard to find. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Dating. Dating should not be hard, man. Real talk. Dating to to end up in a relationship is not hard. Because if you know what you want, if you know what you want, then you shouldn't be in no fight. You shouldn't be in no fight with yourself, man. When you see it, when you see it, everybody know it when they see it and know it. You know it when you see. Listen, you know it when you see it and know it. You know it when you see it. You know it when you feel it. You know it when you get it. <laughs> you know. It's plenty. Hold on one second. Man, I'm taking it. I'm taking it. And then that's why I told my home. I said I deserve it, man. You know, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I deserve it because I hope somebody listen when I say this. I deserve it. I done built what I done built. I done worked on myself as much as I man, as, as hard as I done worked on myself. Majority of my family don't have it. I deserve that. I, I, I people, people, a lot of people need to tell themselves this. I deserve to be happy. I don't deserve. I don't deserve no lie. Oh, listen. I don't deserve no lie. I don't deserve no hidden agenda. I don't, I don't, listen. I don't deserve no deception. I don't care myself in that way. I don't care myself in that now. Any person that's done come in my is done come into my life. Listen, anybody that's done come into my life, I have most definitely created a space to where you know this is a safe space. You know what I'm saying? So any person now, that now it could be most definitely because people, when you cut like that, a lot of people that ain't experienced that, they just they just tend to bring their old ways into uh to somebody that that they don't have to. I understand that because I've had to survive before. I've had to survive, so I know how to bring. I bring. I know what it looked like to bring old tactics into something you didn't even have to bring them old tactics into. But guess what? You gonna do? You gonna burn? You gonna burn them bridges? And when you burn them, listen to me. They they your fault. They your fault. But me, I don't deserve that, man. I don't deserve that. And then see, and that's why I get. I, I, it's a it's a different level of betrayal. Now I'm from Tennessee. It's a different it's a different level of hurt and betrayal, man. My books. When you know you everything, or you been everything to a person, and uh, you you just don't get that in return. Like it ain't cool. It ain't cool, man. You know you know. The heart is easily deceived, man. And when the heart, listen to me, when the heart get into a place where it, and it care about a person, the heart will accept deception.
Listen to me. <laughs> the heart will take deception, real talk. And when it take that deception in, you can't even tell the heart you don't have to love this person or care about this person no more because the feelings your heart caught was out of deception. You can't even just turn it off. That's crazy, ain't it? Like, that ain't even fair. How can anyone know it? Like, that's crazy, ain't it? It ain't. <laughs> your heart fall where it fall, you come to find out that this ain't even the real thing and you can't just eat, you can't just tell your heart you don't have to feel like that no more. You got to go through a whole process of getting of getting it out of your system even when you was done wrong. Like it's crazy. It's not pure though. See, that's the thing. That's the thing. All love ain't pure. You think that's not love? It's not. Listen to me. If you, if you, the enemy. So, so you telling me you can love the enemy? The enemy can't love you. The the enemy come when the enemy come in. He give it's giving you a perception of something. It's giving you an idea of something. It's it's giving you smoke and mirrors. It's giving you a mirage because it can easily trick your heart. It's not pure though. And by the time you find out it ain't pure, it's hard for you to get it up out of your system. It don't, the most high don't come like that. The most high don't come, the, if the most high come into your life, it's not, he not coming with deception. He not coming lying to you. He not coming with broken promises. He not coming wearing no mask. He not coming deceiving you. He not coming with no hidden agenda. He not coming with no false reality. He not coming with none of that. None of it. So later on down the line, you don't have to look up and be like, man, that's crazy. You don't have to do that. The, the, the enemy come like that. The enemy come like that. And then, get what? It, it, what you don't even realize. See, the enemy The enemy is so cold with it, though. See, the enemy is so cold with it. When he creep in and do it, he'll have you thinking it's the real thing. Yeah, you thinking it's the real thing. And then, and see, that's, that, that's what most people end up struggling. Most people end up struggling because then your mind and your heart got to go back and forth about the good things that you saw versus the bad things. You got to start weighing, you, you try to start weighing, weighing the pros and cons, but the, but the whole thing is a con. Because if you go back to it and that person that don't get in the place that they need to get in, guess what? They're going to remain that same person. And so now your heart is juggling. It's juggling. You give that person another opportunity and guess what they do? Same thing, the reason why you left them. Go back to doing the same thing they was doing you that they promised that they were going to fix. It's the same thing. The, the most high don't come like that. The most high don't move like that. The, you ain't never, listen to me, if the most high come into your life, you ain't going to never have to question it. Point blank period. I ain't saying that people perfect. I ain't saying that people make mistakes. But I'm saying for the most part, you going to be able to tell if it's pure and genuine every time. You're going to be able to tell if it's pure and genuine. Like I done ran into very few pure and genuine people and I can be honest I question them people I because the people that come pure and genuine I have rarely seen it and experienced it so so that's what I started to realize that's when you when I easily try to run away from something it's probably what I need to run to if it scare you what's up Nick what are you doing if it scare you to the point of you feel like, man, this is too good to be true, you probably need to start. You probably need to check yourself and try to and, and try to embrace that because it's something that you're not familiar with. It's it's coming easy. It's natural. You don't have to force it. You ain't got to worry about nothing. The whole time you thinking, man, this person up to something. And 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 that time it, it be the real thing. And then and then you blow it. And then you blow it. And then you blow it. No, man, I done had it happen plenty of times. Because I wasn't because I wasn't in that place. Broke, I'm going to tell you something, man. If broken people ever admit it, they don't know what healing feels. They don't know what heal. They don't know. Listen, they don't know what it feels like to really be to be loved correctly. They need, listen to me. It's got to come with some kind of toxicity. It's got to come with some, it's got to come with some kind of drama. It's got to come with some kind of lie. It's got to it's got to come with something to make you you know what I'm saying be in a place in your head where like 
you it's something. It, it, you you it's got to it's that's just how you that's just how we operate. It's got to be something. It's got to be something. Romans 12 and 2. Romans 12 and 2. That's one of my favorites. Be ye transformed. Don't be conformed to this world. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You got to renew it. Now, everybody, listen, I, I know that. I, trust me, I know that. Everybody, everybody not on it. Everybody most certainly not on that. It's just scary out here, man. Real talk. It's just it's it's scary out here because uh you know you just get to a place where you 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 feel like you gotta question everything, everybody. You feel like you gotta question everything and everybody. You don't know what's what. You don't know you don't know what's what. Can't trust people around your kids. <laughs> you, you don't know what's going on out here, man. Real talk, man. Appreciate that. You don't know what's going on, man. I've been home five and a half, man. Trust me. I've seen enough since I've been home, heard enough. I ain't saying I've been perfect by far. But I've seen and heard enough where it's just like, oh, I can see why people be single. I see why people be in situations. I, you know what I'm saying? I... I even I even see why people stay in relationships they don't want to be in. I, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I even I even understand that now. Why you still there? Why you ain't left? <laughs> hey clutch, what's up, man? We need to link up. Why you ain't left? Shoot, you'd rather you'd rather deal with the little mess that you're going through before you get with another person that probably be ten times worse. You you'd rather go on and stay. <laughs> you'd rather you'd rather go on and stay. Real talk. Uh, yeah, that's is yeah. Comfortability. Yeah. You really go on and stay. I ain't I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't. Let it burn. It's hard. It's 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 hard. It's hold on, what she said say? Let my home. It's, it's, it's hard letting go, but hey, let that go. Who is this right here? I keep seeing you comment. I ain't never seen you on her before. Pooty, what up, though? Oh, uh, yeah, no problem. I want the real thing, man. The book about my life. I need the real thing in my life, man. I deserve it, man. Do you know? What's up, family? What's up, my guy? When you. And I'm gonna say this, I'm gonna give it real. When you done been through hell and back, cause I have been through hell, listen, I mean this with all my heart. I have been through, if you don't read my book, then you know. And, and the story is still being written. I have been through hell and back. Do you know how hard I have had to work to get to the place where I'm at now. The same thing people need to ask when, when they come into your life. Respect, respect that you that you that you come into my space. Just like I'm gonna respect you when I come in yours. Don't come into my life, homie. When you are so you you see what I went through. You see where I had, I had a girl tell me, I'll never forget, and this is my home until this day. She got my book. I wrote this, this book was, um, this book right here is probably almost three and a half years ago. I wrote this book, it was a girl I was talking to at the time. She was in a situation, so we ain't never, but she came and got my book the day I started selling it. She went home and read the book, right? She called me as soon as she, 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 she read the book in one night. She called me soon as she finished it. I'll never forget this. She said, after reading no book, she said it gave me a little insight on, on how to deal with you and what type of love you need and how you need to be cared for 
what type of you, the, the affection you need. Like she read the book, and it, and it made her see what I deserve and need it. Because listen to me, I have worked my t listen to me my last two and a half years plus the five and a half I've been home. My last the last eight years of my life, I have worked so hard on my mental, on my heart, on my spirit. I come home, built what I've built to get where I'm at financially. If you come into my life and play with me, go to my website, jtb3.org. Please don't come into my life and play with me. That, that ain't, it's not fair. It's not fair. Listen to me, story time ain't enough. For the, for the get back, I'm gonna I'm gonna wanna get, I'm gonna wanna have. Do you know what I done went though? That you you'll come in my life, you'll come and lie to me. You you'll deceive me. You you like what? Do you not see what I done already experienced? And then you just cool to come in and just man, listen, don't do that. Don't do that to me. Not me. I didn't deserve that. Go go do that to somebody who's still playing out here. Hear me? You wanna you wanna add to what I don't experience? Like that's crazy. You know how many you know how many you know how many women I hear done told dudes, and I ain't never been this dude. And if and any woman I'm dealing with, if they if they any woman that I have dealt with, if they'll be honest, I'm not that type of dude. I ain't came in a damn woman life ever. Put me on the record. You can screen record it. Put it on your page. Any of my can damn woman come out and say. And if they told me about a dude that I turned around and been just like him, never, never, any woman, it's, it's a safe place with me. When you tell me what you done been through, I'm not finna turn around and be that. And if I am that, I ain't finna deal with you. And listen to me, if I know, if I know I ain't in no place, it's easy for me. As a man, there's somebody on here right now. As a man. I can tell when I'm around a woman I ain't ready for. You think I'm gonna try to hold on to her? I can tell when I'm around a woman I ain't, I ain't ready for. I can tell when I'm dealing with something I ain't ready for. And if I ain't ready for it, leave it. Get, go about your business. Cause you ain't finna do nothing. You ain't finna do nothing. With, you, you finna hurt. You finna hurt her. You finna cause some 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 trust issues. Then she gonna be hesitant, probably about dating the next person. If you ain't ready for go roll. I done did it several times since I've been home. I, I can't, I ain't no, I just ain't it. I'm not finna do it. I'm not finna play with you. You don't deserve that. You don't deserve that. I ain't got the same thing a couple of times. And I, I ain't got no lie to tell. It, it's two or three that can vouch for it. I can't, just ain't, I ain't ready for it. I am now. I had too much I wanted to do. But man, listen, man. Alaska, go to my website, jtb3.org. I got both of my books on, so you can get both books on sale right now. You can get both books for 25. Go to jtb3.org. The link is on my page. Only thing you got to do is go to my TikTok profile page. It's a link on there to my books. You can go straight to it. jtb3.org. I, I just, man. A lot of people, listen. To me. <laughs> a lot of people, dudes, dudes locked up. When they come home, they thinking they coming home to a freedom. You go to you go to one prison to another. Cause there's a lot of people out here, you're gonna realize real quick, you you right back with inmates. Real talk. Just just because people are free physically, it does not mean that they free at all. You 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 come out of prison and you right back in you right back in the unit out here in the world with inmates. There's people out here locked up in their mind, man. They they why you why you were sitting in there, why you were sitting in there. Uh, being institutional life, they done been out. They they out here going through the same thing. You get with a person, you come home from prison. They try to tell you, you institutional life, cause you move a certain type of way. 
But that same woman don't realize you don't took on you don't took on the role of your past abuser. The way you talk, the way you carry yourself, certain things that you do. Uh, what what happened to you? Stockholm syndrome, man. Right? That's a form of institution. You 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 you, you institutionalizing some type of form, ain't you? You you you've been going through it too. A lot of people don't even be noticing that. I, I be on it. Hold on, don't try to tell me I'm something like you ain't. Right? You both dealing with it. You tripping? Real talk, man. Real talk. Man, that's, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. Like, I'm telling you something, bro. Even, even in being, even with being locked up, you can see it when you locked up. You know why, you know why most women sit on, you know why most women sit on the phone with dudes in the penitentiary? Because they talk with so much sense. They get in touch with the emotional side. You know what I'm saying? They, the intelligence, oh, it, it go, it go out of the roof. He learned how to communicate. He he communicate better when he behind the fence. But let me tell you something. See, a woman, when she get comfortable and start opening up with a dude who locked up, listen to me. <laughs> you can tell when you locked up. Ooh, she going through it. She going through stuff you wouldn't even like. What? He did what? He said what? She still like you. What? What? And they, but they constantly asking you for advice. They constantly asking you for advice. They constantly asking you, you know what I'm saying, for, uh, for, for direction. They constantly asking you for instruction. They con I'm sitting in a cell. I'm sitting in a cell. You, you asking me questions. You, you, what? Man, I was plenty of women counselor. I was a counselor in there, man. And then you get out here, and then you get out here, and you realize, you get out here, and then you realize, whoo, are they going through it? You you realize, and then before you know it, you 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 going through it. Man, man, dudes, man. It get it get it get hard, man. When you trying to uh, hey, if you ain't already following me, hit that follow button. It get hard, man. When you trying to, when a person trying to love you for who you are, and you trying to learn to love them for who they are, it can be challenging. Cause something done happen. Something done happen. Both people don't went through something. Both people don't experience something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, here, how you know it's wide open? I, I was him. What was the comment, Pink Love? I was him. Man, listen. I, the, the, the women that I talked to when I was locked up, listen to me. They were way more in love with me, uh, with, with me being an inmate. Real talk. Ready for me to call. I don't know which I don't know which you I, I don't believe in I don't believe in uh jail talk. Oh uh, let me say this. For one, for one, when you dealing when you dealing with it, I'm gonna say this first. You you gotta take accountability that you're dealing with somebody who locked up. I don't know how long they've been locked up. It ain't because it ain't always necessarily jail talk. You just gotta realize that this person is out of touch. You know what I'm saying? This person is, this person ain't been home. But when I was in there, every woman that I dealt with, that I got close to, when I said I wanted to do certain things, I meant it. I meant every word. Any woman, the woman, the girl that I would talk to before I came home, I meant, I meant every single word. But then when you come home as a man, when you come home as a man, especially if you deal with it depends. Because a lot of men don't know how to communicate their feelings. So when you come home and you see that this woman got her life together. And the only thing, she telling you she, she got your back. But you talking to a grown man who been in the penitentiary for one. And then he got to watch. You established. I'm speaking from personal experience. Because the woman that I was dealing with, she had two cars, nice house. She had her stuff together. Good job. Good career. All this stuff. All that, she, she had her stuff together. So 
when I get to her though, it intimidated me. You know what I'm saying? But at the time, I'm not knowing how to communicate that. So immediately, I go in either fight or flight mode. Because as a man, I know deep down inside, I am built to be a provider. So for me to be around a woman who trying to help me and cool with waiting on me until I get to that point, it's just hard to accept that at the time. It's just, it's sometimes, it's hard for some dudes to be able to communicate that. I don't know, but it ain't necessarily jail talk. A lot of them mean that. They just get home and don't know, you know what I'm saying? But, and then I'm gonna tell you something. When dudes sit behind that, when dudes sit behind that fence and they get to talking about, uh, when I get out, I'm finna do this. When I get out, I'm finna do that. And we finna do this. Listen to me. They realize when they get out here, because when you sit in there and you you hear how you you always ask yourself, because I used to ask this myself this all the time. How in the world is they struggling out there? Like how you ain't never got no money? And see, when you sitting in there and you ain't had to pay no bills, you ain't had to take care of no kids. You ain't had an unfortunate accident and your car had to go in the shop and did they and did you had to and the, you ain't had these types of experience. You ain't had to call off work and you missed a payday because you had to stay home with your child. You listen, you ain't had you ain't you ain't school was getting ready to start back and you had to get all them school supplies and them clothes and stuff. See, you ain't had the experience that. See, see, the, the weather started changing and your tires were bad, you had to spend a thousand dollars on tires. See, you ain't you ain't had the experience that. So by the time you get out of prison and you run into the real adult life, you realize how far you behind. Yeah, that, 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 that'll bother a real man. When you realize, dang, I can see that. I understand that. I remember the first two times my child mama called me and said, I need you, to, I gotta go to work. Uh, I need you to take some Mario to the doctor's office. I had something going on too. But I, I, I killed what I had going on, but this thing though. I'm just moving freely because I'm not aware. Because guess what? Even because we hadn't talked about that, not saying that I wouldn't do it, I just hadn't experienced it. So I wasn't, it wasn't no communication where it was like, oh, uh, yeah, if you need it, if you need me to take some art to the doctor, let me know. It was just a, a moment after I was home for about a year, I got a call out of the blue. Hey, I gotta go to work. I ain't gonna be able to take her. You know what I'm saying? You gotta go get her out of school, take her. And I was like, even. When she said it, my brain went crazy. <laughs> my brain was like, okay, go check out of school. I had never had to go to the office and say, uh, I'm trying, I'm here to get my child. That, that alone, I was nervous about doing that. I had anxiety. I ain't never did it. I'm gonna go here. I was like, okay, 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 okay. But I had to fight through it. I go to the school to get her. Then I take her to the doctor's office. It took the rest of the day. <laughs> Look, after the day was over, I had to go and take her to the house. So when I take, when I pulled off, I was when I pulled off in the car, I was like, how many times she had to do that? How many times she had a doctor's appointment? She literally had to go and work potentially for half of the day. I already done let her boss know I got to take my daughter, and she missed half of a payday because she had to take her to the doctor. See, dudes of the penitentiary, when you sitting in there, you already, you're not calculating your money that type of way. You thinking you just finna get out and get it. You finna get out and get it. You remember, I remember the first year, <laughs> my daughter hit me up and said she needed clothes for winter. It wasn't an outfit, she wasn't saying an outfit or two. She was saying she needed to get situated for the winter. So when that, I was like, I was like, okay, 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 okay. But I literally get off the phone and like, so I gotta get on straight for the whole winter. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> you 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 realize, you know what I'm saying? How much you know what I'm saying? You really how much goes into life? Like real talk. And bill, listen, bills don't stop. You come home, listen. When you come home from the penitentiary, and them bills, listen. Your first two three months, you might get to stay with somebody. To tell you you ain't got to. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to do this much and do that. This, 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 this. But when the bills hit, I'm talking rent. Car, car insurance, phone bill, life insurance, whatever, whatever other bill, whatever, whatever other bills you got. Taking care of your kids, you realize real quick, oh, you could easily be out of three, four thousand dollars just throughout the month. It's not, it's not easy out here. 
it, it's not easy. And then you, so you got to sit back and be like, dang. And most men get out of the penitent. They meant everything they said. I did 10 years straight. I went in in 2007, got out in 2010. That is 10 years, no bills, not have to take care of my child, no responsibility, no nothing. I ain't had to pay for no groceries, none of that. I get out, I'm thinking, man, I'm finna buy. What? These folks is out here living real life. Real life. Who got the food stamps? <laughs> who, who got stamps for sale? What? They, them folks gave me food stamps for three months. When them food stamps ran out, I realized real quick, you go in here and spend a hundred dollars worth of groceries, that ain't nothing. Wait a minute. Where the food stamps at? Hey, hey, since you know somebody got some food stamps, <laughs> it's serious. <laughs> it get real. It get real out here real quick. And dudes, and dudes come out of the penitentiary, man, and their pressure, their pressure hit, and they not, unless it's a woman like you really, 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 really been dealing with, man, you ain't finna deal with, you not finna let a woman see you, see you like that, that bothers me. Man, I'm only gonna sit around for so long to realize, man, this woman in here literally taking care of me like I ain't, you ain't able to, man, no, sir. Most people do go, and, and, and listen to me, and that's why most dudes jump right back in the streets. Fast money. Fast money. They want to get up. They want to have something. They want to be able to, they want to show they contributing. You know what I'm saying? They want to show that they got some kind of value. And before you know it, you know what I'm saying? They, they in a situation. Not me. <laughs> Listen, I jump back in the streets. I jump back in the streets. Could have went to jail one day, right? I went, I got back in the street. I'm right back. I got a four and a baby, some dog food. Listen to me. Just went and spent, just went and spent 10,000. It was a police doing a routine. Just like he, it was an area where people been speeding through. He wasn't giving people tickets. He was just flagging them down and telling them, you know, in this particular area, you know, they want people to start slowing down through them. Man, that man flagged me down. I got a four and a half of that dog food in my pocket. I said, whoa, would have got me a life sentence probably. Man, that man pulled me over. He was like, man, I just want to let you know uh, through this area right here, you know, we've been getting a lot of complaints. Man, my heart about jumped out of my chicken. What I said, that ain't worth it. <laughs> that right there? Ah, right, that ain't worth it. We're going we, 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 we to have to figure something else out. We're gonna, we're gonna have to figure we're gonna have to figure out something else. I ain't gonna lie, we're gonna we're gonna have to figure out something else. <laughs> that's that's dead right there. That's dead. Mm -mm. We're gonna fig you see what we doing, don't you? Yeah. You see what we're doing now? <laughs> that's it. This is all we got. <laughs> Listen, mm -mm. we're gonna have to get better. We're gonna dramatic affect me, please. We're gonna have to do something different. <laughs> Cause this right here, it's gonna be Get you some, a long time, sir. Go to my website, jtb3.org. Where's that book at? jtb3.org. I'm just telling you, man, for real, man. Uh, my first year and a half wasn't easy. Yeah, I'm back, I'm back signing them. My first year and a half wasn't easy. To a lot of people, they'll say it looked it, but it wasn't. Because I'm going to tell you, like, I had to, there's another thing, people being locked up. You got to learn how to manage your money. When I was in the streets, the money come just as fast as I can, money go just as fast as I can get it. Oh uh, yeah. So I had to, I had to learn how to manage my money cuz in order to run a business, you can't you can't spend money the way you spend money uh running a business, you can't spend it the same way like you spend money in the streets. Now, I done learned it now. It's my life. I done learned it. You got to learn. You got to get out of learn. You got to learn, man. And that, boy, listen. And most people do not have the discipline to do that. Uh, inbox me on, on Instagram. B-A-K-E-R-I-I-I. -I -I. Social media is my business at this point. Then my books, of course, I got my shirts and stuff. But, uh, 
I make a living off social media. I ain't afraid to do nothing though. If I had to go get a job tomorrow, I'd do it. I ain't going to jail. Bet you that. We ain't doing jail. No sir. We're not we're not doing jail. We just not. We're not doing jail. <laughs> we can't do jail. No sir. You lose everything when you go to jail. Everything. Everything. A lot of people, man, social media changed my life, homie. I ain't even gonna lie. But, and then I see a lot of, I see a lot of, Oh, yeah, for sure. I was going to make something yesterday. You know, I don't celebrate holiday. That was going to make me some rotate. Oh. Uh, I see a lot of talented people on, uh, on TikTok. But they get so caught up in making TikToks. And, and they get caught up in... They get caught up in making TikToks and trying to get a following and likes and views. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I can send them to jail. I get my publishers to send them. Why I don't celebrate holidays? Because the most high didn't create them. The words say don't follow traditions of men. The origin of every holiday came from a man. That's just the simple. Uh, but you got a lot of people if you do it, you do it. I'm not knocking you. This is the truth, though. Let's look at it like this. You got the same level of discipline when it comes to let's look at let's look at let's look at the the holidays like this when it comes to the Most High. The Most High tell you what's not what's not for you, what's not good. And you do it anyway. And then you end up in a situation you didn't want to be in when they already told you it wasn't good. And you don't have the level of discipline to not do it. It's the same thing with the holiday. You can see it. <laughs> you can, somebody can show it to you. And you will still say, well, it's all right. It's cool. No. It, it's not. It, it's not. But then, you make the excuses just like you will for your relationship. Comfortability. The kids. Fear. Oh, it's just family. We're just having fun. All right. <laughs> okay. We know what, then, then is what people are saying. Then is what people are saying. We know what they did to the Indians, and we know their history and this, this, and that, but we're not celebrating that. We're just getting together as family. Why are you still using that specific day then? You got the weekends all the time. Don't y'all get off on the weekend? So why, so why, so why nobody couldn't uh, just, uh, Get the family together on the weekend and do the same thing. Don't y'all get off on the weekend? Huh? Y'all can do that same kind of cooking on the weekend, huh? Can't tell them nothing. Go do it again next year. Ain't Christmas. They don't care. I'm going to tell y'all something, man. 
The king can come down right now. The king can come down and tell some of us right now, face to face, not to do certain things. And I'm telling you, we're going to do it. <laughs> I promise you, we're going to do it. He can come down right now. Hey, quit hanging with such and such. Three weeks. You better hang with the person. I'm talking about discipline, sorrow. If my partner wanted to celebrate holidays, this is, I had this conversation with somebody the other day. Uh, I believe in being an example, demonstration. I don't believe in telling a person what to do. I, I believe in, you know what I'm saying, if I'm carrying myself a certain type of way, eventually your partner will adapt your good, your good habits. That happened, it happened. But I'm, I, I'll say this though. Uh, it'll be very interesting to watch over time though, if you could teach somebody a truth that could help and they just ch still choose to not even care. You know what I'm saying? That you know, that's different. But like my daughter for instance, like my daughter know I don't celebrate. She know I don't celebrate holidays, right? She been knowing that for about the last three years. She'll still she still, you know what I'm saying, she'll still uh kick it, you know what I'm saying? She'll still do her when it comes to the over time though. I done planted them seeds. She'll start asking questions. Eventually, she'll start doing her own research. And eventually, she gonna say, oh, I see why. It's to setting the example for somebody to, you gotta start, if you ain't setting the example, you ain't even allowing, you ain't even creating a space for somebody to try to look at it different. If you just doing it, I got to. It's only right. That's like that's like Charles the White for instance. I'm gonna make a post about Charles and White in the morning. You take Charles the White for instance, right? Charles the White got a lot of people that support his message. But if you pay attention. Charles Dwight has fell in love with being idolized because he'll speak against the Bible. But people so caught up in the gems and the knowledge that he's dropping, you don't realize he'll send you to hell. <laughs> Real talk. You, you, you don't realize that he, he say a lot of stuff, then he'll turn around and discredit the Bible. Keep on listening. <laughs> You're going to be in trouble. <laughs> the greatest, the, listen, the greatest lie the enemy ever told is to try to make you think He'll make you believe for you and then the whole time he'll trick you out your soul. You said it ain't taking it? JTB3.org? I wonder why not. I'm going to make a post about it in the morning. What do? What's up, Mimi? 
Mimi, I'm, I'm, I like the cut. What do? And then, pay attention. A lot, I don't know, I'm a sad, but I, I don't really believe in sad though. All thing you gotta do is pay attention. I mean, he ain't doing nothing different. He ain't doing nothing different than the rappers, man. He just doing it in a different form. Oh, what's up, my guy? Hey, he just doing it in a different form. Now, this man, this man done created a platform. Listen, clearly he's got a platform. He's being heard. He ain't done nothing with it though. He ain't doing nothing but continue to. He ain't doing nothing but continuing to to stack them chicks. That's it. Same thing the rappers do. Do I what? A story time? Oh, I'm about tired now. I'm almost done. He ain't doing nothing but the same thing. And got what? The people who break him on this podcast. Hold on. The people that, that put him on, on their podcast, they black. But guess 